All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. We're, we are going to be reviewing the wall juicer today. Um, this juicer is in the more affordable range because, as you know, juicers can be very expensive. Um, we are going to be comparing it against the Omega. Uh, not that it's, you know, competing with this one or anything, but it's just to give you an idea that this juicer here, which is three to four times more expensive than this one, um, we're going to be testing it to see if it puts out the same amount of juice. So in other words, we're going to be getting some fruits and vegetables. We're going to be weighing them out and they're going to be the exact same amount of weight. We're going to be putting them through each machine to see if each machine will put out the same amount of juice or one a little more than the other. Um, so let me bring you in a little close here. Let me show you how this works and how it goes together. All right, so on this juicer, you're going to have your on, off, and when you pull it back like that, it goes in reverse, but when you let it go, it'll snap back to off. So that's nice. You're going to have your container here, which is 24 ounces max or 700 milliliters. So milliliters on one side and ounces on the other side for your juice. This container here is for the pulp that comes out. And um, this one's quite a bit larger, of course. Okay, so most of these masticating juicers are very similar. You're gonna have your pusher here. So as you're putting your stuff in there, you can help push it down. This is your tray, which easily comes off like that. And of course your tray, just to let you know, can be mounted like this or like this. So it's not a big deal. It does come with directions, instructions, and all that stuff. A little brush here to clean the inside there. And this wrench here. Now this wrench is only needed for this very front part here. If you need it, if it's very stiff and it won't come off, you can use that the wrench to take it off. But normally, it's very simple. You can just do it by hand. So you just push this button here. And this comes off from the main base. And then, like I just showed you earlier, turn this, and this piece comes off. The screen, the auger, and this is the main housing for it, for it all. Very simple, and again, to put it together, you just push the auger in, push the screen in. There's a little arrow here where it locks in place. That goes on like that. Put your tray on and you're ready to start juicing. All right guys, so we are ready to start juicing. We have here some cucumbers, we got some carrots, we have apples, and we have uh, kale. Same thing over here. Now. Each, the apples were weighed, the carrots were weighed, the cucumbers, everything was weighed separately. Everything weighs, they're equal, the same. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start juicing and find out which one produces more juice out of the same quantity of uh, fruits and vegetables here. And, um, and see if this will keep up with this, all right? So you wanna start? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Start with carrots first. We're getting juice. Now, because these are masticating juices, you can't be just shoving everything in there. It takes time for this stuff to, to push, to grind it up and, and push it through the screen. And because of some people like to keep shoving stuff in there like that, they got the reverse here. You can always throw it in reverse and it'll unclog the, uh, 
the auger. You have to also remember. You have to also remember that this machine, the the Omega, is a little bigger machine. Also, it holds more. All right. Let's try the. Um You gotta put something else to push it down. It's stuck. There it goes. All right, we're gonna do, what are you doing next, Apple? It likes the apples. <laughs> and remember, you got to cut your your fruits and vegetables, obviously, so, that, so they'll fit inside the opening there. Now we got our cucumbers. That stuff, oh, you can't reach. Okay, this one here is done. You got a little piece stuck in there. Let me shut mine off. Here, let me stick my fingers in there. No, <laughs> Never do that. Well, let me show everybody what's going on there. So there's a little piece right here kind of stuck. We're going to have to stick something in there when it's off only and then turn it back on. All right, try uh try turning it back on now. There we go. Yeah. Well, almost. I right, shut it off again and try pushing some try pushing it down. It's like on an on an angle. It won't go in the way it's supposed to. Okay, I got it out now. All right, now I'll try it. All right. Now it went through. Okay. So let's take a look at this first of all. So, all right, the pulp on the wall here. The wall juicer, this, this is the apple. Looks pretty, uh, pretty good. How about the carrots? Let me see the carrots. Carrots seem pretty dry, actually. Pretty good. Let me check out this here. Eh. I noticed that 
on the wall here, it comes out like little, uh, well, poop. <laughs> like little round poops. Like that. That's the apple. And it's pretty good. It's not, it's not super moist. Not too bad. This one's not too bad either. Although the, I don't know. It seems pretty equal, to tell you the truth. Seems pretty, pretty equal. All right, let's check out how much juice we got out of the wall compared to the uh, Omega. Okay, so we have the juice to the wall juicer over here and the Omega juicer on this side here. And if you look inside here, you can see the froth still on top. So now what we're going to do is, this one has markings on it, but we're going to mix it up basically is what we're going to do here. Stir it up, get that froth kind of worked in with the juice. Now you always need to mix it anyways, right? And the same here. Alrighty, so uh, I'm going to set this somewhere. I'm going to set it here for now. All right, so let's pour the wall. Or oh, you want to pour this one in first? See what we got? Because this, this one doesn't have any markings. So let's pour that in here. And we have, it looks like close to 300. Almost 300 milliliters on that. All right, so we got almost 300 milliliters. Hmm, that's a good, nice glass of juice there. All right, so I'm going to rinse this out so we don't add to that, basically. All right, this one's all wiped and Okay. Now we'll see what we get here. Well, looky here. Let me squeeze it. <laughs> Every drop. We got more than 300 milliliters. So that is very impressive. We have, uh, what do we have here? 350 milliliters? Almost 350 milliliters. Now that is impressive, very, very impressive. So that's pretty impressive to me. We have the exact same amount of fruit and vegetables. The, each carrots were both weighed the same. The apples both weighed the same. Even the, uh, the kale, cucumber, they all each weighed the same compared to the other ones. Put them through two machines and the wall was able to squeeze out a little more juice. Now the difference was almost 50 milliliters. So this one was almost 300 and this one was almost 350. So that's pretty, that's pretty good for maybe a third of the price of this one. Um, and that's, uh, that's pretty good, very impressive. And uh, well, now we got to taste it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's compare that. And there you go, guys. 
there's a difference right there. We have about 50 milliliters difference. And that is a good gulp of juice right there. Very impressive. Okay, so let's taste it. I'll get the bigger one because <laughs> I'm bigger. <laughs> it's delicious. Yeah. It's got a sweetness to it. Let me taste yours. I'm sure it's, it's the same, of course. No. <laughs> yours tastes different, though. Mine tastes sweeter than yours. Yeah, a little sweeter. Well, that goes to show you, actually. Now it makes sense. This is pushing out or squeezing out more juice, and it's getting all everything out of there, including the sweetness. And I, and I, I bet you it's the apples. Yeah, very sweet. Yeah, you want to drink this one instead? Mm -mm. Glad this isn't sweeter That's for a sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you drink this one, I'll drink this one. Since it's colder, too. I don't know why. You take the colder one. Well, I don't know. Let's Same just thing. keep switching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this one from, from the wall is um, it's sweeter. Because, uh, like I said, it's it's extracting all the juice or more of the juice than that one. But to be fair, this one it, it's you can feed more in it uh, than tube. yeah, it's got a little bit bigger tube. Where this one you can't because it's got a little bit smaller tube. But we cut everything the same size. Everything went in there. This one got stuck a few times. Um, not stuck. But the, the the fruit was or the vegetables, whatever, was sitting right on top as the auger was spinning. And it couldn't pull it down. I didn't have that problem with this one. So um, that's pretty good. Very good. Yeah, it's much sweeter. Okay, so I'm going to put a link in the description under the video where you can pick this up. And if you buy one using my link there, it helps us out on the channel and, it, and I would really, very greatly appreciate it. Um, and if you're interested in one of these also, I'll put a link there too. But this here, if you're on a budget and you still want some juice and be healthy, uh, get some good uh, uh, phytonutrients in your, uh, in your blood basically, um, this is a good choice. I like this juicer. I didn't have to use the reverse uh, because nothing got stuck. So I was, uh, like I said, I'm, I was impressed because I had my doubts. You know, this is a uh, almost a $400 machine, and uh, this one here is about less than a third that. Uh, so I was, uh, like I said, very impressed. Okay, guys. So I appreciate you watching. Please like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.